What is it? The cows will come home? You'll have to the pay? Ca- the cows will come home and then they'll take your, repossess your house. You're listening to Improv Inc. Business on Web Talk Radio, where personal and business finances take a front row seat. I'm Brandon. And this is Rick. And today, we'll be telling you to watch out for the runaway credit on First and Hill. Have you maxed out your credit cards? Are you paying the minimum for each credit card each month? Today, we'll discuss the problem of runaway credit and bad cash management. When you're in over your head and struggle at controlling your spending, it might feel like you're in Dante's Inferno, the fourth circle of avarice and prodigality, where the miserly and the spendthrift push large boulders together, crashing them again and again. <laughs> that was sound, of, sound effects by Rick. <laughs> and we have some stories, questions, and suggestions about credit and how to manage it. Our story today is an analogy of overstanding yourself in credit and how it can run away from you if you're not keeping an eye on it. This story takes place around 1960-1961 in Los Angeles at the intersection of First and Hill. In those days, if you remember, you know, we had large cars. It wasn't like today where you had little Priuses and little boxers, smart cars, smart cars, but you had big cars, uh, big fins, uh, large metal, everything is metal, uh, very little plastic. I think the Shriners drove little smart cars back in the day, at least it looked <laughs> like it. Well, that was my grandfather, right, mm-hmm. my, uh, my grandfather from Tennessee when he was uh, a Shriner. But uh, anyway, this, this story is about uh, a traffic uh, officer, uh, a police officer from the LAPD who was doing traffic duty that time in the 1960-61 era. And his name was Jim Alfano. Now, Officer Alfano was working for the LAPD on traffic detail. And uh, he, at, at this time, was also going to school, uh, law school at night. So he had a full plate. And I always wonder with these guys that are doing traffic detail, standing in the intersection during rush hour. Now, back then, there seemed to be a lot more police officers directing traffic, I remember as a kid, than there is today. Today, you only see people directing traffic when, I guess, the signals are out? Yeah, or there's an event or something in the area. Oh, okay. And, but uh, this was actually was a natural occurrence because he had did this a number of times. So it must have been because of times when L.A. was booming and there was lots of cars coming by this intersection, which is the main part of downtown. And they hadn't done the traffic lights down there yet, is what you're saying? No, I. you know what? They must have. This is 1960. They had traffic yeah. lights in 1960. But uh, I don't know why they would put uh, officers down there. Apparently, they needed more help. Maybe people were gridlocking uh, intersections. But whatever the reason, uh, he was assigned to that over certain periods uh, during his career uh, to direct traffic. Los Angeles, in those days was a matrix of different cities. So you would have downtown LA, and then you would have Culver City and Santa Monica and Inglewood. And in between these, sometimes, there would be fields or undeveloped property. And then also there would be the San Fernando Valley, which was a lot of fields, bean fields, (laughs) different things in orchards and and citrus, citrus groves. So L.A. was not completely developed yet as it is today where you can drive from one place to another and not see a vacant lot, pretty much uh, nothing big anyway, because everything just gets developed. So on this intersection of First and Hill, Officer Afano was doing his normal uh, traffic detail. And and so he would stand there and and let the cars come through on First Street and then stop them and the cars come through on uh, Hill and left turn, right turn, the normal things you see of a traffic person, which I always wonder about them because it seems like it's a dangerous job. If, you know, it's going to be one or two times a day when somebody swerves a little too close to you. Yeah, that's why they wear those protective white gloves. (laughs) (laughs) On this particular day, Officer Afano was directing traffic. And the cars were coming through First Street. 
uh, from his left to his right, from his right to his left. And he looks up and he sees a car coming down Hill Street. Now, guess what the geography was like on Hill Street? Pretty flat, I'd say. Pretty, mm -hmm. like a dip, maybe a valley. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, it was a hill. Ah, there we go. There we go. Yes, yeah, right. Third, third or fifth or whatever times the charm. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we educated you guys well. So he was directing traffic as, as First Street going left and right, and this car is coming down Hill Street. But there's something very unusual about this car. Actually, it's two.